Hi crew, wanted to get started here on kind of walking you through how to get to the materials in Pilot. So once you're in Pilot and you have chosen the ASM course to enter, you should see a screen that looks like this. And I am impersonating a student here. It's an emulator. Uh, so this should be what you see. I've posted a welcome video in our YouTube channel and Here's the welcome to tell you how to get started, what you should be doing every day of the week in order to stay up to date. And then we'll scroll back to the top. And the best place to enter is here through content and start here. When you begin the course, you're going to start all of these preliminaries. It'll tell you exactly what you're supposed to be doing, how you can be successful, how you'll be graded, three areas that you need to go to before you contact me for information. Unless it's personal, then you can come directly to me. I'm going to go backwards. Netiquette, that's just a little etiquette on what you um, should and should not be posting. This is an academic environment. Here are some uh, proper citations for using APA. Here are some ideal discussion post and response samples for you and samples of work uh, at different grade levels. You have an introduction to Labster, which you're going to have to go in and sign up for Labster. So I will hop in at the demo simulation just to show you what it looks like when it first loads and you will see that if you need to get into Labster, you're going to have to purchase access to get to it. So I'm going to go back to start here. Once you have completed uh, that Labster orientation, you need to schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me. This will take you out to my meeting scheduler because I need to meet e each one of you. This is an asynchronous remote course and there are times where you may need to reach out to me and this is how you do it. This is sort of your ready to start the course checklist and if you've gone through all the items in the checklist visit the start here pages, visited and looked through the sample discussion post and what it takes to get uh, passing grades on your written submissions, scheduled your meet and greet, and completed the certification of understanding, which means you have read through all materials and you understand what the rule set is for the course. You've also taken a look at the li living syllabus. You've signed up and accessed CK12, which is the online textbook. Take you out and see if we can do an orientation there. So this will take you out to the CK12 textbook. If you haven't signed up yet, you're going to need to say, I have a class code. Put your class code in here and use your Wright State University email address as the contact address. So then we go back, say yes, we've done that. Here's where some of the access to the pilot's handbook are that you'll be reading periodically through the semester. Make sure that you've signed up for Labster and signed up for Lab Safety. You will not be able to move past the first module if you do not complete Lab Safety in Labster. And then on October 7th, you'll be signing up for labs for Zygote Body Premium. You'll only need it for uh, two months at $4 a month. So put that on your schedule and don't forget. So it looks like we've done the checklist item. So we can check those and go forward. Now, module one, you're going to do read, do, experiment, write, and reflect pretty much every week. So Module 1 takes you to the overview of how Module 1 is laid out, what the learning objectives are. Just in case you haven't taken a look uh, at the learning objectives, they're relisted here. The Module 1 checklist, this is an extra checklist, and I tell you why checklists are important. And then you can actually start into the materials. So every module you're going to need to at least pre-read the materials or skim read the materials that are listed in the reading checklist. Why? Because you will need those to post to the discussion forums and to understand where you're going with the volume of reading and materials that you need to approach for each week. They're listed here. There are usually links. There may not always be links after the first few weeks in the class, 
but these are the things that you're going to go out and read. Then you're going to do the lecture, Introduction in History. And for Module 1, it's a reminder, skim read the textbook and ancillary materials. It makes the lecture go much easier for you. Then go back and read in depth. Take the And when you're finished, you can take the quiz. So here's the lesson list that you're going to go through. Art, Innovation, Science, Artist and Thinker, and Extreme Ballooning. And you can enter each part of a module by clicking on the heading. So here's the heading and this is Art, Innovation, and Science Before Humans Flew. And you can look over here and see that here they are listed under Do. So things that are good to know. Retrograde means looking back. So we're not going to really look back too far. And here's Module 1 and Lesson 1. So you'll click on that. And it's going to take you to the slide deck. You can click through the slide deck. You need to read through the slides and if there are links such as this you'll need to go out and visit that link if you haven't already downloaded materials and if there are so that's the completion of lecture one you need to go slower and read through that so if there are uh, particular links that you need to go out and visit I'm going to show you how to do that this is how you get to module two you just click through up in the upper right and this is module two the artist and thinker and there are videos in this lecture. I do not stand in front of a screen and lecture to you. I allow you to go through these materials at your own pace, but you do need to be thorough when you go through them. And I don't just put things in the slide deck, uh, even though you might see a quote. Uh, this is an important point for you to stop and think about. This particular slide is talking about how Leonardo da Vinci approached his work. If you see a thought box, that actually goes back to the prior slide. If you see a thought box, you should stop and take some notes for yourself. All right, here we go. You may see embedded materials. I expect you to go out and review them, watch them, and follow the link. Few people can rival Leonardo so, da Vinci for the title of Supreme G. I'm going to stop because you need to watch that. Few people can rival Leonardo da Vinci for the title of Supreme G. And you can go ahead through the rest of the lecture. So that's how you get through each of the module lessons. This, if you click the right arrow, it's going to take you to module three. But what you need to understand is you can always come over here to the contents to the table of contents and if the module is open you can always click into the module and see everything it is that you need to interact with. So the experiment is Labster Experimental Design. Your lab worksheet will be listed at the top to help you think through the experiment and then you can open Labster Experimental Design after you have signed up for the Labster program and it will take you out to that particular lab for you to interact. So again, I, this simulated student has not, does not have access, so I am just going to go backwards by hitting the back arrow, and it's going to take me to the last thing that I successfully completed. Write means your discussions, and I expect after the first discussion that you will have a minimum of 150 words in order to be analytical enough to meet the criteria for discussions. You may always not always have that many, but if your response is, yes, good post, that is insufficient. I want you to think about what you are posting and what your fellow crew are posting. The reflection, this is your mission log. If you do really great work on your mission log, miss no assignments through the course, you may be offered the opportunity to forego the final mission log submission. So, then finally, you get to the bottom and you have module wrap up. Quizlet flashcards are to help you see if you have picked up and understand the materials that have been presented to this point in the course. And they are not mandatory, but they're a good self-check. 
and I've set these up for your benefit, and they are only to further your educational process and completely optional, optional, but highly encouraged. All right, then you're ready to enter the quiz. You can start the quiz. There are unlimited attempts. There's unlimited time. You can come back to it. The estimated time is the amount that I think you should have to complete the quiz and it would mean that you were adequately prepared for the materials if you're able to complete it in that time period. If you have a timing adjustment as part of your student success plan, then make that adjustment for yourself. And then finally, at the end of the module, there is a checklist to help you understand what it is that you needed to accomplish in the course, in that particular module. So I'm not going to complete that, but I'm going to go forward. And the only other thing that you can see at this point in time really is the Labster dashboard, and that's available for you to follow your own progress. I will not be able to see progress since this is a surrogate student, uh, but for you, you should be see, able to see your name, any courses in Labster, assignments and grades under the Labster dashboard. So I'm going to go back to the table of contents, which is going to take us back to the beginning of where we need to be. And I'm going to go back to module one, where you're going to start. And then we'll run across the top just a little bit. Home will take you to the home page for the course. Content is where we are right now. Checklists will show you the checklists that are available and up and coming. You'll be able to see assignment checklists, uh, but you will not be able to access the assignments until you have either completed the prerequisites required or it is time for the module to open. Under communication, you can see discussions and the WebEx site, although if you make an appointment with me, you'll receive a direct WebEx uh, website HTML sent to you in the email. Under assessment, this is where you can see where drop boxes are, the quizzes and exams are, the rubrics, self-assessment surveys, anything that you need to see from your assessment standpoint. Uh, if you want to go directly to that rather than working through the module content, that's a quick access. Here are your grades. I recommend that you hop in and check. I use Pulse on my phone and it keeps me up to date with what's going on in all the courses I have. And you'll be able to see a list of things that you have coming up that are graded items. This is going to populate a little bit more over the semester as I do not have everything fully transferred into this uh, fall course. So don't freak out. It's going to look a whole lot like what is in your living syllabus, which I will take you to when it comes to assignments. So when you go to the interactive syllabus, here you go. Here are your contents. The most uh, probably important thing that you are interested in is the assignment schedule. And you can go through all of the course assignments. So here you go. All right, here you are. That's the syllabus. I'm going to take you back to the course. And that's essentially your click-by-click -click overview of how to navigate the course, particularly through Module 1. I hope you find it helpful.